Hi, my name is Elizabeth Bass and I am the Youth and Young Adult Minister here at Holy Name of Jesus Cathedral. And my youth ministry team and our teens want to share with you how your support of our new parish building can help lead these teens closer to Christ. Hi, my name is Marco Longo. I work with the Life Teen Ministry and assist Liz Bass in the formation and ministry to teenage students here at Cathedral. It's been a very special ministry. For me, this ministry is about building a relationship with the teens in Christ and Christ Church. We need the teens physically involved in parish community and parish life. And so that's what Life Teen is, you know, is built around, is we don't just teach them, we build a, a Christian community and life within the parish. And so it's been challenging the past few years. First, we built a program using the school hall in, in Sacred Heart Church, um, which is what we had and which was fine. I mean, we made do with that. We didn't have a dedicated space for youth ministry, but we built a program that got to 50, 60 kids strong, took 70 kids on, on a mission trip, and we made do with that. COVID unfortunately derailed our ministry quite a bit, forcing us to go virtual to a great extent. That's just not the nature of, of what we're trying to build with the teenagers. So we try and feed them, go to mass, do activities. All of this needs a space within the parish. It's really exciting for me to hear and know about this parish center that's being built to support our life at Holy Name of Jesus because our teenagers, teenagers desperately need this. And we desperately need this. In my mind, there could be nothing more important to life teen and youth ministry than having a parish center to build that relationship with teenagers in the church. Hi, my name is Lisa. I've been with Holy Name of Jesus for four years. My biggest struggle is being consistent and going being a student athlete, being a teenager, being in high school. Um, we do have some limitations on what we are able to do, when we are able to meet, the activities we're able to do, the weather affects what we're allowed to do a lot of the time. Having a pair center would give us more space to meet, to have more people, to do outreach. The most exciting thing would be to not have as many restrictions. Um, and that would be great because Holy Name is really like a big family and that means a lot to me. My name is Whitney Howe. I am an adult volunteer with our Holy Name of Jesus youth ministry team. And I, I just think the consistency aspect of, of youth group is extremely critical. So we primarily meet either outside or in the narthex. Outside, you know, you obviously have to depend on the weather to be able to meet outside. In the narthex, it's beautiful and it, 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 it is large enough. For the most part, it's large enough for us to accommodate our teens, but, um, but the, the echo makes it really hard to hear while our, our youth ministry volunteers are presenting on the topic. And it, it's also, because it's a sacred space, it's hard for us to incorporate all aspects of our ministry into the program. So we like to have a meal, we like to have snacks for our teens, we like to play games and be goofy and just have a blast together. And um, really when you're in a sacred space, you can't incorporate all of those, all of those other things that make Life Teens so unique and special. Obviously, having a parish center would really help with this. Both of these challenges could be resolved with having just a dedicated space. And having a parish center would allow us to have that weekly connection with our teens in an environment that is um, specifically focused on our mission, on our activities, on our topics free of distraction and, and the challenges that come with meeting outside in, in the narthex. It's a blessing to have a beautiful worship space, just, just such a beautiful cathedral where we can come together for mass, but it's, it's also important to have a space where we can come together after mass or in between masses to 
um, to love one another, to serve one another, to get to know one another and really form a solid community that feels more like a, a family. If you would like to give to this effort, please go to raleighcathedral.org and go to the Give button at the top of your screen. Your support in this effort will help build this community and the future communities here at the Cathedral. Thank you so much and God bless.